So it's tough to splice this whole video together, especially where we stand right now. So basically, we're at the last 10% of the sanding process. I haven't been filming a whole lot because it's a whole lot of tedium, a lot of the same kind of stuff. So it's it's just been a really tough process trying to film that last 10%. We're going over today and we're gonna be, you know, continue to sand. We gotta get the, the front bumper, the rear bumper's pretty much done. That, that did take the vast majority of the time. So this has got to be the hardest part of this car, is trying to get this back bumper sanded down. No, oh, no. But that was, the majority of the work today was trying to get this back bumper cleaned up. Still got to get the tail lights, just get that sanded out, and then get this emblem off here and get that sanded out, and I think we'll just scuff this, put a nice... Nice feather edge on, on here where we got it sanded, and then just scuff this to where the panel stick. And I think we'll be good with that. The rest of the bumper's done. Most of the rest of the car is done. And we'll go over it with the 320 and be ready for primer. <laughs> So obviously the best thing to use is an actual Dremel tool, or if you're Paul, that can all be a Dremel tool. You go to the store and spend $4.99 for something like that, and you got all the crap right here to make your own. Elegant engineering, man. Elegant engineering. <laughs> That's how we built next uh, demolition every car, is elegant engineering. Had to get inside of these tail light housings and to, you pretty much have to hand sand it, so just basically made a Dremel tool with some uh, foam tape and taped around it and then got uh, the sticky adhesive back uh, adhesive back uh, sandpaper and wrapped that around there and voila any differently or uh, lesson learned is I would do the hardest stuff first. The way I work is it's a lot better to have all of your mental capacity and energy focused on the hardest stuff first because you're fresh and new on it. <laughs> so we're almost done with the rough sanding stage which is stage one. So that last 10% is what's taken the most amount of time which I would say we had Two solid work days of most of like the 90% of these last 10% has probably been about three days of working. Now that's, you know, each we'll say about five solid hours of working. So it's about 15 hours. Would you say, Paul? About 15 hours? Somewhere oh, under 12, 15, 20. 12, 15 Who's hours. Counting? We're having so much fun. Who's exactly. Counting? Oh man. <laughs> and this is the greatest pleasure in life. All right, quick update. So we're basically at the finished sanding stage. We sanded the entire car down with 80 grit sandpaper, and now we're basically at the 220 grit stage. Just going over the entire car, and uh, then it'll be on to masking. Yeah, I'd say she's pretty good as far as the uh, sanding for primer. A few little touch-up spots here and there and be ready to mask it off, I think. Let's see, just a few little, little edges here and there, but not bad. Just probably still want to clean up the door jams a little bit more. As far as having them sanded up and get clean them up down here a little bit more and where the paint's going to make real thick. Hello. 
Hello. You got a friend over there? I do. What's that? I'm on cat watch. I'm keeping her out of the way. She's on the cat watch. <laughs> Testing. Yep. Hello. Is this thing on? Oh. Hey, this is Devin from, from the, the future. future. Just stopping by to say, for some reason, I had lost a lot of the footage with uh, sanding the car for the finished sand with 220 grit sandpaper. Uh, basically, you just want to get it so that the the 80 grit scratches are smooth, um, and all of those like little lines and scratches kind of fade away, and it just becomes a more uh, smoother blotchiness uh, so unfortunately this one was a short video but if you did like it please make sure to give it a like give me a comment if um, there's any feedback you'd like to have next episode we will be masking the car so uh, hope to see you there